make the decision today to be happier right now. Are you watching TV right now or watching Netflix? Do you feel somehow that uh, you are afraid of success, afraid of uh, failure? Do you feel that sometimes it's just easier to stay put, don't change anything because there's safety in not changing. There's safety in being who you are and not changing. Well, here's a message for you. It is important for me to raise the issue because if you think about it, your life is very important. It's very, it's so important that you have to keep in mind that uh, by the end of the today, by the end of today, the, the day's over. Whatever you could have done, eh, you've lost your chance. So what I want you to do is think about the fact that if you want to be happier, you need to take action. And here is why I'm doing this video. As I talk here, I want to tell you that you can't really afford to procrastinate. You can't afford it because this day is coming to an end. It's so close to ending that if you miss your chance, you won't be able to say, well, I could have done that. I don't want you to feel with regret. If you don't want regrets, what do you need to do? You need to take action right now. Because if you don't do, take action right now, what will happen is you'll miss the opportunity, the opportunity to do something great. Because once you've done something great today, tomorrow you'll go one step closer to some, do something even greater, or one step closer to greatness. The reason why I'm doing this video is I don't want you a year from now to say, you know what, last year I should have made the decision to do one step closer to be uh, achieving my goal so that I can be happier. I don't want that because if you're looking back a year from now and saying I should have done something, you're already a year too late. Just do something right now. You have no other choice. You need to change. You need to take steps so that you can be better for yourself and people around you and ultimately society as well. So let's see if I can share with you some stories uh, that made me think of this idea today. So let me tell you a few stories. I'm a teacher in a high, in a high school. I live with two kids. I take care of all kind of things around the house. I'm always busy. And about 13 months ago, so it's a year and a bit, at some point I realized too much TV, too much Netflix, too much video, and I felt it was not that I was not growing. So what was interesting is I decided to go and meet Tony Robbins when he was coming in town, uh, and I thought that maybe he would be able to uh, uh, to guide me or show me some aspect of myself I did not know. And guess what? I learned so much. I came out of that event a changed man. And the reason for that is not that I knew what I wanted to do, but I knew that I had to change. I had to change because there was no way I was going back to my old life. So I had to figure out, okay, what can I change? The first thing is for myself and my kids, I needed to take care of my health. So what did I do? I joined, uh, I joined a gym. Uh, the gym is called Primal Athletics and you know what? The guys were wonderful. I'm going through pain every week, every week for the last year. I've lost 30 pounds because I've followed their, uh, a program they had. Uh, it was called the Transform Transformational Challenge. And guess what? I won the one for uh, that started in January this year because it was 32 pounds. That was the actual uh, weight I lost. And I was quite proud of myself. Think about it. I just uh, decided to do something about it. Is it complicated? No. It's just for you to say, let's do something about it. First thing I had to take care of was my health. Reason for that is first, I would feel better. Second, I'd be able to do more with my kids, which is the ultimate reason why we're alive. We have kids, we want to take care of them, and we want to become better people. During the time I was uh, working with uh, uh, the gym and personal trainer, I started to look at uh, thought leaders uh, on YouTube. And yes, maybe I spent too much time on YouTube to figure out uh, who were the best. 
I found Evan Carmichael that I will talk about in a moment. I also followed uh, Grant Cardone uh, with his idea on finance and we can go beyond. So trying to get rid of limits uh, that I have in my mind. There's also Gary V that also uh, helped me uh, that helped me realize that at some point I need to slow down how much content I consume and I needed to create content. And that's when I decided to create this uh, uh, YouTube channel so that I could share my journey with you so that you can improve as well. What else, who else? I also uh, was, uh, I'm watching Nick Nimmin, how to grow your YouTube channel. And the reason for that is I feel that the YouTube channel is a great way to contact and reach people and and that is the reason why I decided to do uh, those ones other reasons why I thought that change was needed if you think of my story I've been teaching for 15 years and I see students come and go and I teach French uh, in high school and interestingly enough even though I spend uh, I spend hours uh, in years showing French and teaching French to students uh, as soon as they leave high school, if they don't use the language, they, uh, they stop using it and they lose that, the, competences, the competencies that they have with the language. And that is, uh, it's a bit, uh, it's sad to hear and sad to, to know because I know they can do so much more. And that's when I realized that if you don't use what you know to get better, you, uh, you become, st you stagnate. So you need to use the skills you have. At some point you need to figure out, okay, do I need new skills? Which is why I decided to go and see uh, Tony Robbins. Um, is there other things I stopped doing? Uh, well, I like video games and I more or less stopped playing them. I miss that. However, it was not making me grow the way I wanted. So at some point you may have to decide are there aspects of my life that I have to stop doing? I stop thinking so that I can grow. There's no way you can achieve more, become better, if you don't, first of all, realize what you do. And at some point decide that maybe there's a few things you need to set aside. You need to set aside some friends, you need to set aside some activities, you need to set aside uh, behaviors uh, regarding uh, eating, regarding uh, consumption of uh, food, alcohol, or others, keep in mind that you can make the decision, the decision to be better. And this is part of my uh, thought process in the last year. The last aspect I want to share is how I have some friends for the last years that, I, that have, they're great people, but basically have done the same thing. Uh, over the last few years, same behaviors. I know what they do on Fridays. I know what they do on weekends. And you know what? It's great for them. But for me, it needs to be more. It needs to be more because if you want to grow, you need to challenge yourself a little bit more. And I'd say that it is part of uh, uh, what I believe. I discovered this week that, but well, not discover. I define my one word this week, and it was uh, engage. How do you engage uh, yourself in doing more? Well, by pouring your ideas, your heart, your soul in doing something. To the engagement piece, it's so important. So it's, it doesn't, it's not just a, an intellectual decision. It becomes part of you. And that is why I'm doing those videos and I want to be there for you. So lately, and to finish my story, the story that it is a Thursday today, that's the second day of a workshop I'm doing with Evan Carmichael and his team. And you know what? I'm learning so much and I'm expanding my thoughts, my ideas so that I can grow this YouTube channel, but also increase my involvement to help others around me. Um, and uh, if you look, I'm going to put here under the uh, Evan Carmichael's uh, website just for you if you don't know him. Uh, I think he's a great person. He has great messages for entrepreneurs. He also has the one word which is believe, which is uh, he believes that we all have superpowers to do great things. And I think that's why I like him quite a bit. So I have three tips for you. How can you achieve and do more uh, so you get closer to, um, to your goals and do something today 
that will allow you to become happier. So the first one is a vision board. Uh, when we think of a vision board is a plank, a cork board, a whiteboard on where you're gonna put, you can put goals you have, short-term goals, few weeks, longer goals for few months or even five-year plans. What would you like to do? For example, I have a few ideas on financials because I want to increase wealth in my family. I also have, uh, there's a few things I want to do with my family and one of them is to go to Nunavut. I don't know when that would be possible. That's my 10-year goal and I think that would be possible. And the second tip would be, I would like you to tell a friend that you have decided to take the steps to become happier and tell them one and tell them about your vision board. That will give you some accountability and your friends will ask you what you've been doing lately to be happier and I think that's a good tip for you. And the third tip will be, how about you look at, uh, uh, actually I'm gonna make the third tip the call to action for today. I think it's a good idea. The call to action today is for you to take your journal and on a piece of paper, I want you to list three things that would make you happier if you did them. So you're gonna get a piece of paper and a pen. What are three things you would like to do today or you could do today that would make you happier? And I'm sure that in the last couple of weeks you have in behind here somewhere, you're thinking, oh yes, there's, there's are two, three things I wish I had done last week or two weeks ago or yesterday. And I know that if I would have done them, I would be happier. So take a time to write them. Now, I want you to choose one. I want you to choose one and do them and do it right now. I want you to close your journal, say, and take two minutes, five minutes, an hour. And I want you to get up, get up the couch, turn off the TV and do it. It's easy. You do it right now so that uh, tomorrow you'll feel happier. And you know what? You're gonna take the second uh, list, the second point on your list, and that's what you're gonna do tomorrow. And the plan for you is if you can do one thing, however little it could be every day to be happier, imagine where you'll be next year. You'll be a totally different person. And that is why this call to action is important. So as I conclude this video, I want to have an impact in your life. I want you to have an impact in your life and to impact on the people around you. So take action. And you say, well, I don't know where and how to make goals and set up goals. I want you to go in this right there uh, or right there. I don't know yet. I'm going to see if I can figure it out. I would like you to click on that video on how to set, uh, no, how to take action. And the second video is how to set up smarter goals. Two more videos to get you to the next place so that next year when you look back you're gonna say you know what I'm a different person and I'm so much happier now than I was last year. You can do it. I believe in you. Take care.